In this video, we are going to cover the very important constraint that we have, which is a primary key constraint. Primary key constraint basically is applied on that particular field which represents your table in the best way. For example, the ID for any employee, the employee ID is the unique feature which must be there for every employee and it will not be duplicate as well. So in that particular column we can choose to pass as a primary key. So let's see practically how can we add the primary key for a particular column on the column level as well as on the table level. To add the primary key on this table what I can do is I can either go for a column level or table level. I'll show you both the ways. Let's start with the table level where I will do the things which I was doing earlier as well like student underscore student ID underscore PK and then the constraint type like primary key as it is in the table level you will have to pass the column name as well so student ID the column name if you want to create a composite key you can simply separate them all with the comma and can pass a multiple column names but in this table structure I don't want anything like that so this is how you can add a primary key in a table on table level if you want to do that in the column level you don't have to pass the column name you can simply write this particular line right after the column definition so when you will apply a primary key it will not allow any null value or a duplicate value now if the table is already created and you want to add a primary key make sure that you first apply a not null constraint on that particular column and only then you will be allowed to add the primary key so I already told you in the not null constraint how to add a not null constraint in a table when a table is already created and once it is that you can do that like let's create this table without a primary key if I will execute like this it will be created alright so I am not going to create it now the table is created let's see the structure here in the object explorer let's refresh the table section okay so here inside this table uh, student tables you can see there is a first name student ID and there is no primary key right so let's add it now so alter table tbl underscore students add constraint primary key or constraint constraint name sorry so student underscore student ID underscore pk and their primary key on which column it's student ID alright so let's execute it right so as you can see here it should be in the non nullable as I said alright so first of all I will have to apply the not null constraint so tbl students alter alter column student id int not null so first I will execute this one tbl underscore alright so let's execute this alright so now it is not null and now I will have to apply now it's executed successfully let's refresh this column and here you can see the primary key alright so this is how you can add a primary key either while creating a table all or by altering the table alright so that is all about the primary key.